I'm Sam, and today we're going to go talk about the anatomy or the parts of the acoustic guitar. Now, most beginner guitarists uh, start out not knowing the parts of the guitar. They just assume, uh, assert that it's a guitar and leave it at that and start trying to learn how to play guitar. But it's always nice to know exactly what the parts are of each uh, guitar. And by, by knowing that, you'll know kind of some of the dynamics on how the guitar works. We're going to start by talking about the three major parts of the guitar. You have the headstock here, and then of course you have the neck here, and you have the body, three, just like the human body. Okay, the head, the neck, and the body. And of course, the body of the guitar come in different sizes. This is what they call a junior dreadnought. The one that I use is a junior dreadnought. Dreadnought uh, refers to the size of the guitar. They make little student guitars, three-quarter size, uh, half size, uh, concert size, dreadnought, junior dreadnought like this one. So they have different sizes uh, of bodies. The, the three parts of the guitar being the head, the neck, and the body and then we're going to talk about the machine heads. These are referred to the machine heads here on the on the headstock. And of course they're used to tune your six strings. The strings, you've got six strings. Always refer to the first string being the small string. And then it goes up one through six. The sixth string is always the big string. Okay. On the head. We have the little white piece right here. That's called a nut. The strings come through the grooves that are cut into the nut. And of course go all the way down to the bridge. This is called the bridge. The little white piece here inside the bridge is called a saddle. Saddle. And then the little pins here are called bridge pins and they're used these will come out when you go to change your strings you would change your strings bring them down here put the ball in in the hole take the uh, bridge pin and push it down and it locks in that string in, in underneath this uh, bridge and then you proceed to tune the metal bars going across here are called frets Fret, made with fret wire, but we refer to them as frets. And we refer to the first fret as the one right up here. And it goes down one, it continues on two, three, four, five, so on, all the way up. These are called frets. Okay, the fret board is the piece where the strings push down on top of. So the fret board is right here underneath the string. And fretboards are made of all types of different material too. Uh, rosewood, mahogany, ebony, uh, and a various number of other types of woods. So you have the frets, you have the fretboard, and you'll see the little dots here on my guitar. They're here, here, and here. Most all guitars have these dots visible on the fretboard. Some do not. Not all do not. Not all have them, but but most of them will have them. Some of them will start here on the first fret, third and fifth. Some of them will start like mine here, starting on the fifth fret and going up. So it depends on on your guitar, the guitar maker uh, that made your guitar as to where they put the uh, but the position markers. And you'll use those later on, uh, especially when you start making cards up on the neck on the. Uh, for, to help you with the position. Just to be able to look at that dot and know that that's the G position or the A position, so on. Now, you probably uh, will have the same position markers here on the side of your neck. Again, usually uh, sometimes on the first one, but mostly on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth frets. You may have one up here also. But they'll be on the side. So you have some on the front, 
and on the side, but not always the case. Uh, sometimes you just have them on the side, most all, most every time. Okay. This is called the pit guard, and what it's for, it's not for cosmetics necessary, but there are different types of pit guards, black and tortoise, and etc. But what it's for is when you struggle your pick, of course, not to scratch uh, the wood on your guitar. That's, that's strictly a protective uh, item that's put on the guitar called the pick guard. The white lines here are actually what they call rosette. And that's inlaid here. And again, many, many different types of rosette. Uh, some of them have abalone in them, which is a uh, real bright-looking, uh, rock-looking type, uh, type of uh, material. But mine has what, what I like to refer to as a stripe, stripe rosette. And again, yours may have a, a different type, and they vary from one guitar to the other. Okay. And of course... Here on the side, you'll have the binding. It goes all the way around the guitar. And again, you have different types. You have just the black binding like mine has with a little white line. You, uh, you also have tortoise binding, uh, herringbone binding, a variety of different ones. And of course, each one uh, will, will make, make the guitar have its own characteristics as far as sound, that sort of thing. At the very end, you'll have the end pin here, and that's to be able to put a strap on, on it. You apply the strap here, guitar strap, and my guitar has a button here on the side, right at the base of the neck where it joins the body. So I would put my strap right here on, on that, bring it around, and hook it on the other side. And by the way, I would advise... Uh, always playing with a strap, even when you're sitting down, because it's so easy for you to get the artist to slide off your leg on the floor, and then you'll regret it, because chances are you've damaged the guitar in some way. Uh, I've had students actually uh, bust holes in their guitar uh, by falling, sliding off their lap and onto the floor. So I think that's pretty much the... Uh, just of the different parts of the guitar and again on the uh, machine heads you will have different types of machine heads I want to point out also you, you could have uh, just the nickel colored you could have gold different types different size buttons on, on the end of the machine head again those come in different varieties different guitars different situations if you enjoy these uh, Videos always you can always leave a comment uh, down below uh, that would be great. I would appreciate it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here. Uh, I always appreciate your comments and and if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified uh, when I post a new video. I'll try to post one or two a week, and uh, I I hope that uh, you'll join me for any future videos. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Let's go play some guitar.